Yeah, that ball joint's bad. What's up people, welcome back to the parts guys. Today we're working on these ball joints. I got a set of control arms from freaking eBay, about 65 bucks and they showed up on two different weeks. But nonetheless, I got them both here and we're ready to swap them out because these freaking ball joints are pretty dang terrible. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, I already got it up in the air. So what I'm gonna do now is pop the hood and take the wheels off and we can knock this out pretty dang quick hopefully only about 45 minutes to do the whole job and then i can go out and cruise this thing tonight because i'm super excited the plates showed up so you know no more temporary tag or anything like that i can just rock the damn nude lude i'm excited um but we'll see how far i go i'm gonna at least do this and if i feel froggy i might just go ahead and start messing with some exhaust but we'll see We'll see how far we get. We're at least gonna throw these ball joints on and I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and show you guys a little bit of the process, I guess. Got the 19 mil, let's go ahead and take this. <laughs> All right, damn, she's dirty. To get this control arm off, which you can see, this one's in fantastic shape under here. To get this guy off, I think this is a 17 mil holding the, the nut on there. You can see I was in a pinch with these guys. Here's some friggin' bobby pins that I robbed from my girlfriend. You know, just get those feeble little things out of there. But nonetheless, we're going to get this out of here. Holy crap. That wasn't stopping a whole lot. That's out. So now we just got to break that loose and then we come up top here. We got this nut and that nut there. Most of you guys, you know, I know you've already done this crap, but whatever. We're going to swap it out and I'm bringing you along the way. So let's go ahead and do this. I think it's 17 mils all around the board. So 17s for everyone. And then I'm going to get a jack underneath this point here so that I can support this a little bit. And I might go ahead and grab a bungee strap and then just wrap that around the knuckle to the control, uh, the strut here, just to keep it from going anywhere. All right, I don't know how many of you guys saw the last video where I unboxed the turbo, but if you haven't seen that, go check that out now, man. That's where I first talked about these control arms, but yeah, that's just a little tangent. Go watch my old stuff. And so I got this little dangly guy here. It's a little swivel thing, and then it's got a little extender thing. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this 17 mil right up there, do a little ooga dooga, and that thing's gonna go zoop, and maybe hit me in the face. So, let's see. And then after that, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do some ooga dooga, and uh, ooga dooga, and we should be squared away. I figured I should use two hands for this so I don't smack myself in the face. You know, I really should be using a shorty. This ain't gonna work very well. Let's just make it work. All right. That dang thing's off. Now, it'll probably just come out pretty easy. Maybe. Nope. All right, so this is the trick. Let me go get it. Okay, so since we got the nut off there and she hasn't let go, we're gonna use this Helping Hand 2000 right here. And instead of like beating right there or beating up on that, we're just gonna hit this knuckle a few times. And the little aftershock effect should make that thing go bloop. It should be cool. Let's see. There we go. So this guy is all nice and loose now. That's all squared away. You can see she's all... She was really wore out there, guys. Really wore out, man. But nonetheless, you can feel this one's got some flex in. We haven't taken out... We haven't done these top ones yet. So let's do that real quick. Well, hello. Let's try this guy in here. This ain't a very tight grip, to be honest with you. Let's see. Yep, that's not good. That's not gonna work. 
There we are. You know, sometimes it's not about how you do the job. It's about the fact that the job got done. All right, let's keep going. So, that's unbolted up there. It's literally just being held on by hopes and dreams. So, let's give her some wiggles. Loud at call. Here we are. Here's a junk one. Boom. But that's an OEM one, I think. <laughs> Probably not, though. But okay, so we got the new ones here. That is going to be this guy that we need. We need this one. So let's pull this out and get it ready. But all right, so since these are all loose like that, now is your chance, instead of waiting until it's on the vehicle and trying to tighten that up, that because that's not going to be any fun. Uh, basically, just kind of note where these are positioned and about how tight those are. And then we're going to tighten these up in about the same position. And then as long as they're not too tight, they're going to freaking actuate the way they should in there. And I, I really wouldn't be afraid of giving them a few ugga duggas, not like 25, but maybe two, three, and that should be fine on there. But these are locking nuts. Like I think they're nylon locking nuts and everything. So there shouldn't be any problems with that. All right, so I'm going to lift this up through here and get it through those holes on each side and then reach from the top and get a nut started on it so that it doesn't fall through. That's basically the plan right now. So let's do that. Go ahead. All right, so now this is pretty much snugged up over here it's not like torqued down but it's snugged up you can see the big gap between the ball joint and here what i'm going to do is i'm just kind of angle this ball joint as straight down as i can and then we'll take the jack and we'll go ahead and lift up down here oh like wicka, wicka, wicka. bring that up a little bit and now that might have put us right there into position almost we're almost there so let's Angle that a little bit again. Maybe. And I can almost get a can almost get the nut on there. So let's go up a little more. There we go. And then here we are. We got the thread showing through. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down and put the nut on. And then after we get that tightened up, I'm gonna go ahead and shove the cotter pin through right through that hole. And we're good to go. The driver's side's all squared away. I got it torqued down here with a probably good, you know, seven ugga duggas. And then I got the cotter pin in. That's spread out. That's looking okay in there. We're all torqued down everywhere. Driver's side squared away. And then I'm going to work on the passenger side after I freaking eat dinner. Uh, that showed up, so we're going to knock that out. But after that's done, we're going to take this out for a ride tonight. See how she does.
All right, people, so we'll wrap this up here. After about 50 miles, they finally stopped squeaking. And I will say the ride on them are perfectly fine. I'm not freaking, not upset about it at all. 65 bucks got me two freaking control arms. That's new bushings, new ball joints, all that jazz. I didn't have to press them in. They were super easy to swap out. I'm happy. I'll figure out what the name is, throw them up there, but honestly, probably just type in eBay freaking control arms and that'll find it. You know, but nonetheless, uh, I do gotta say we're getting pretty dang close to a thousand subscribers. I gotta say thank you guys for that. Uh, I guess I gotta get off my butt and do some stuff, get some shirts made up because I kind of promised that. But nonetheless, till next time, I'm Dan, the Prelude Dude. This is Parks, guys. Peace.